poor Johnny Poo Poo. Um, he treated a girl badly. He wants to know how he can make it up and make her like him again. She's an angel. He treated her badly? Well, first and foremost, obviously, he's got to read, read my book. Because you have to stop all the excessive, unattractive behavior and start accentuating your masculine behavior that will not only reattract her, but potentially other women if it doesn't work out and you get another chance. Yes? Well, I, I mean, I think that's a great start. It's um, a great start, Corey. Yeah, it, it would be a great start. I have something to interject and add. I think that apologizing to her and... True. If um, you truly fucked up, yeah, you gotta apologize. Well, he says he treated her badly. Well. And he'd like to make it up to her. Um, and that she's an angel. So well, that's... basically, not only should he comment? apologize, but he should also, like, show it. Yeah. Not just words. Do both. Yeah, don't be a schmuck and just send her a dozen roses well, and feel actions, like that's going to solve the problem. Actions do speak louder than words, always. So you might say something to her and think that your words are going to seem like such a grand gesture, but you really do need to act on those words. So, whatever you say might have a, a, a sentimental impact on her, but it's going to be your actions at the end of the day that really, truly speak. For you got to be congruent with your words. Because exactly. if you say one thing, you promise to change, you promise not to do it again or whatever, and then you do it again, then she's not going to trust your masculine core. And she doesn't trust your masculine core. She's not going to feel safe being with you, letting you lead, letting you spread her legs and enter her secret worlds often. It's going to become a desert down there. And then there'll be a pussy embargo in effect. And you don't want that. You want to keep open trade relations going so you can have the uh, mutual injections and infusions that you need to maintain a good quality relationship so the other thing is so you have to take ownership for what you did first and foremost you got to apologize i'm sorry i did x i'm sorry if what i did made you feel this way or that way or whatever you got to make her understand that, you, that not only you recognize what you did to hurt her but how much it hurt her and why it hurt her or why your words your actions or whatever made her feel the negative way and then you got to obviously acknowledge what's going to be different going forward. Now, in these situations, because I'm dealing with a lot of dudes that have come here because they got dumped after they fucked up or whatever, and they want to get her back. So the other thing is you apologize once, and you know you got to love in such a way that the person you love feels free. And so you apologize, you have a good conversation. If Depending on the closeness of the relationship, you're still just together and it's a big fight or whatever. Um... It's hang out, have fun, hook up. It's the conversation comes first. Making her feel heard and understood comes first. And then when she feels heard and understood, then she'll be ready for a session of the indoor Olympics and nice makeup sex because there's a lot of passion, a lot of emotions engaged when there's a dust up involved between two people. And, but if you're in a breakup situation and she's like, no, I just want to be friends or I don't want to work it out or my decision's final. And you say, all right, well, no problem. Call me if you change your mind, but Hey, I'm not interested in just being platonic friends. So unless you want a chance of working it out, let me move on. You move on that way we both can heal and then find the right people for us. But I hope you change your mind. I'm sad. You feel differently. Sad. You don't want to work it out, but you know, a few days week or two and you really start missing me badly and my sexy body obviously you should reach out and we'll hang out and leave it open be fun and playful and let her be she says I need space like great call me when you feel better call me when you figure it out call me when you're dying to see me or call just, me when you're dying to do naughty things or just to my pelvic call. area Yeah, or just don't just call. don't call just leave it at yeah. Let her be. Let her. Let her be. Let her sweat. Usually After the person, you, usually you the person that dumps, it's best <laughs> to uh, 
you know, the ball is at their court at the end of the day. So if they decide to call you back, just let it happen. If they don't call you back, it is what it is. If they do call you back, then you say, hey, babe, I missed you. She's like, I missed you too. I was like, well, you need to get your cute little ass over here to my place so we can make some dinner together, bring a bottle of wine. I would let the other person say I miss you first. Whatever. Doesn't matter either way. And I'm inviting her over to hang out, to have some fun while we're hanging out. Good conversation. Let her do most of the talking. Don't feel like I got to fix the relationship. It's just you're there to have fun. And if she wants to talk about the past or the negative thing or whatever, let her bring it up. If she doesn't bring it up, just have fun. Because if she doesn't bring it up and you guys are laughing and having a good time together and she starts playing with her hair and touching your arm and punching you and you're teasing her and she gets close to you, then initiate the seduction process and take her to the magic promised land. Hang on, have fun, hook up, keep it simple. It's not about you getting back into a relationship. It's just, a man's job in the courtship is to create an opportunity for sex to happen, to hang out, to have fun while you're hanging out, and hook up. And when she feels safe and comfortable and she's ready and her emotions return, and you, because love is allowing, and so you're allowing her to stay, to go, and eventually she slowly comes back and is going to be at your side, stuck to you like a sucker fish. And she'll be the one to bring those things back up and let you know that she wants to be together again. So it's a simple a way of just allowing it, stating what you want, apologizing if you fucked up, and then just, it's up to her. It's like playing tennis. You know, she may or may not want to be your tennis partner right away or maybe in a couple of weeks or maybe never. But the important thing is you got to start displaying attractive masculine behavior consistently and all the other beta male and disgusting, weak, and unattractive behaviors that are talked about in the book, you want to cease those immediately, but you got to become aware of it. And that's why you got to read the book ideally 10 to 15 times because you commit to memory. If you listen to the book on two speed with the audio and follow along with a digital physical copy, then you can get through it in four hours. So if you're serious and the girl is that important in your relationship or your family or whatever is that important, you'll put the time in and learn the information. And I can do phone sessions with you, but if you're going to do a phone session with me, you have to at least have gotten through the book at least once. 